Beautiful beings, blessings, and thank you for joining me. In this video, I'd like to go into grounding. Very simple thing. There's many ways that you can do it, but what is grounding? It could be connecting to the earth, doing it physically, doing it through energy. There's many different techniques, especially in the new book, but just visualizing a cord coming, let's say, it could be from the heart area, connecting to the core of the earth. That's one example. But then physically, actually getting your feet on the grass, on sand, on dirt, actually connecting with the earth. There's been so much studies done on this, and today we are blocked essentially from the earth a lot of the time, whether it's through the soles on our shoes, rubber, the concrete, buildings that we're in. We're just so trapped these days a lot indoors through whether it's our work, being at home, and just lifestyles changing and, and getting disconnected from nature. But grounding and connecting to nature have multiple different benefits to do with health, the mind, body, spirit, complex and balance it can assist with, as well as bringing clarity and actually grounding us back down, we could say in the other term of grounding, being grounded in reality, not being off with the, the fairies or in the clouds, so to speak. We want to balance. That's what the earth human experience is about, not just being here experiencing it. And we can't be just spiritual either because we're here for the human experience, but we've got to balance those out and bring the experiences and the knowledge and the, the wisdom and uh, the growth to this human experience is, you know, what this is all about really on, on multiple levels with the ascension process. Going back to our original unbound estate. So as simple as this is, some are aware of this in the community, a lot of people are, but just connecting and grounding, if you can even for five minutes a day, of course, in some parts of the world where it's snowing and minus degree temperatures, it's a bit of a different matter, but even if you can get outside for a few moments, and even just be in nature or visualize a cord connecting from the heart or from the root chakra going down into the earth and connecting to its core. A, a very simple technique is if you can make a ritual out of it, whether it's in the morning or the afternoon, is just getting a chair, simply just getting a chair, having the feet with no socks or shoes on, and just having the feet on the ground, the actual earth connecting with the earth. Now, if you, are acquainted with observation exercises, there is tingling, a vibration, a sensation that can come with this practice. And you may feel that with your feet, it's sort of like a fluttering or a sensation. Now, there is sometimes circulation issues that people have that this can be a byproduct of, but those that are sensitive will feel this. And especially if you've been to a portal or vortex site, ancient sites, there are some places that you go where you can feel the energy and vibration up to the knees, sometimes up to the waist, sometimes the entire body, and that's feeling the energy from that environment that can be a byproduct as well. And if you're doing this in the same spot enough times, you're actually creating a vortex portal site yourself, as well as you already being one with the Merkaba light body, the, the chariot, the unbounded aspect, which is our geometric form within the Godhead, which is really the image of God that we are. We're made in God's image, which I believe is the Merkaba. That is the aspect of us that's our Elohim self, our God self. And so we are portals ourselves as well. But if you can just make time, even once a day in this busy world, for five minutes, sit down in a chair, get your feet on the ground, visualize you're in a ball of light, or do a prayer, do a clearing, give thanks for Mother Earth, give thanks for the Sun, give thanks for God's source creator that's created all this, and just be present. Don't even think of anything, just be. And if thoughts arise, just observe them, let them come, let them go. That's what they'll do, and there'll come a period where you'll just be. You're just hitting that zone which I'll go into another time of the zone. That's the place you want to be when doing these practices that as a regular practice and exercise, you're balancing and strengthening that mind, body, spirit connection. So I hope this has been beneficial. And for those that are new to grounding, though I know a lot of you aren't, uh, do some research on it. There's some cool movies out there, uh, other YouTube videos. For some people doing this enough, they've been able to walk again without the need of a cane, uh, other circulation issues, health issues, 
um, inflammation, things like this have died down and people have gotten healthier just purely by connecting with the earth. I hope this has been helpful and blessings and thank you for joining me.